Right now in here I have got seven quail. Uh, there are a few bob whites running around, but they they recall in the evenings every time. Uh, so I've got some elderberries there, pretty well eaten up. Not too hungry right now, I guess. In this video, I'd like to talk about how to situate about 12 quail for less than $50. And I, I mean, I just thought I might as well experiment with a budget housing situation for quail because they're just such economical animals to, to keep, especially the turnout for the eggs. I mean, you get an egg a day without fail, pretty much from each and every one of these. Uh, so to cut down cost, instead of buying a $10 poultry feeder, I bought a wild bird, uh, wild bird feeder, you know, that you hang up and it comes with a string and is pretty durable and I mean, the rain won't bother it because it's got the, the top. And to cut down on maintenance, and cost because the poultry waters also cost quite a bit. I got some rabbit feeders, or you know, small animals, guinea pigs, rats, those kinds of things. But they've been doing quite well drinking out of it. I filled it this morning. It's just about empty. It's it's right there. Oh look, there's just another egg. That one just laid one, just rolled out. Uh, there were just two eggs there a second ago, now there's three. Okay, so the feeder cost me three dollars. The two waters that I have cost me four dollars a piece. That's eight dollars plus three dollars, which is eleven dollars. And then I paid thirty dollars for this uh, three foot by four and a half foot dog crate that I got off of Craigslist. So for $41 I got a situation for some quail. I mean, this is just kind of as an experiment. I've also got another one over here. It's good for a few dozen quail. And then another one way off yonder that's good for about 60 quail, but I'm going to be putting my chickens in. Mm. Yeah, so I'm just going to cover it with the tarp, which I have laying around. Most people probably will. Uh, and also, by uh, working this as a chicken tractor type situation, or you know, uh, you cut down on feed pretty significantly, about 20% I've found. You know, they eat worms, and if I find a piece of rotting wood, like I did this morning, I toss it in. Uh, the dog's going after one of the bob white. Uh, then I will toss it in and they'll scratch around for a few hours, get all the pill bugs and stuff. But I can just move it daily. There's one of the bob white. Never mind. Nola, no. Nola, no. Nola, come. It's okay. Yep. So that's it. Thanks.